The recent rain and the cooler temperatures for June, a raging wildfire season isn't necessarily the first thing that comes to mind these days. But the official start of summer is about a week away and it's bound to get hot. And hydrologists are still expecting Idaho to stay in a drought this year. It's a combination that means more fuels for fires. And last year, at the end of June, the Boise Airport measured about nine and a quarter inches of rain and snow for the water year, which is below what we would normally see. This year, we're sitting in a little bit better spot, which is about 10.75, 10 and a quarter, three quarter inches, which is slightly above normal for this time of year. So that's good. With another inch of rain under our belts, we wanted to see what fire officials are expecting going forward. Going into the month of June, um, you know, we only have 14 fires right now on the books, whereas, you know, last year we're at 123. Um, so it's been a huge difference. That is a significant drop. One way to keep wildfires under control is for firefighters to start prescribed fires. It's a tactic land managers use to keep that extra fuel to a minimum. But to do these safely, well, it can't be too dry. Otherwise, those prescribed fires could turn into a larger wildfire. On the flip side of that, you can't start a prescribed fire if it's too wet. With the amount of moisture that's out there, um, yeah, we've been really limited this year. And every year it's dependent, but this year we're definitely limited. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword, right? So last year at this time, we were weeks away from being inundated with wildfire smoke from Oregon. Not yet this time, thank goodness. The bootleg fire, remember that, igniting on July 6th? and was the largest wildfire in the country at one point for quite some time. So, so far, so good, but we still have a long, hot summer ahead.